With that, Chris, you can be now coming up on three and a half hours into today's spacewalk. Recapping some of the milestones so far today, Chris Cassidy and Bob Bankin placed their suits on internal battery power, marking the official start of today's spacewalk at 6.32 a.m. Central Time. The first nickel hydrogen battery was released from slot number one, and the crew worked together to move it over to the external pallet to install it in slot X for disposal. The crew then removed the new lithium ion battery from slot A and translated it back to the truss where they installed it in empty slot number one. The new lithium ion battery from slot A was installed in slot number one, and the crew then worked to remove the battery in slot number two and translated it over to the external pallet, where Cassidy removed an adapter plate and handed it off to Bankin. Bankin translated to the truss to install the adapter plate in open slot two, and Cassidy then installed the old battery in the slot that was emptied for disposal. Next, together on the integrated electronics assembly, Cassidy and Bankin placed a cable between the adapter plate and the new battery to complete the first of three circuits. Bankin and Cassidy then removed the aging battery from slot three, which was then stowed on the adapter plate in slot two, where it is no longer needed to function. Cassidy and Bank had just completed work on the external pallet to retrieve battery B, and they'll now translate back to the truss and together install it in empty slot number three.